first day of uh, hunting out here, and no luck. But I saw four or five last night up here, and uh, so I figured I'd be able to get something today. I figured that because they're obviously coming out, and there's there's multiple uh, deer, so I figured I'd, I'd be able to get one. But uh, there's a couple out here earlier this evening, and I, I tried to take a shot at one. It was getting dark, and uh, it, I mean, it, it looked like I missed it. I could I couldn't really tell. I didn't see any, any blood or anything, and the deer's gone. So I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that I missed it. So that's unfortunate. And I must say today is a bust. Better luck tomorrow, I guess. We'll find out. Good morning. It's now uh, Tuesday morning. I just got done eating breakfast. It's a little late. Kind of slept in a little bit. I have been up on and off though since about 7 this morning. Again, there's no deer. Seems to be a common theme. Not since last night. Right now, I'm, I'm going to head out to where I shot that deer last night and see if I actually shot it or if I completely missed. My guess is I completely missed, but I just want to check and make sure. That deer was right in here. There's definitely been a lot of stuff in here. It's a bunch of acorns and stuff down here and this ground is all tore up. So the deer have been here. The squirrels have been here. Yeah, I was thinking. I can see my tracks from last night, so nothing's been through here. See right here's where I thought that deer was. There's the cabin. That's how far away it was. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but there's a lot of squirrels up here. It's obvious nobody squirrel hunts up here. I mean, I saw about eight, eight of them yesterday. Four of which I could have took a shot at. Though with this this rifle, it would have really blown them apart. So I'll head back to the cabin because there's nothing, nothing anything up here. Did you hear that? That was another eagle. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah. I haven't shot this rifle in I don't know eight years. I don't even know if the sights are lined up in it. I was told they were, but you never know. Nice out here. I thought I'd sit out here for a minute. So I haven't been hunting for a long time, but I used to hunt a lot when I was younger. I remember one year, and we're out of the road. We're out this road. I didn't have my, I didn't have my rifle. I had a, uh, I believe it was a 30/30. That's what I had, and it was a lever action, open sight. And it was before I got my glasses. It was my brother and I, and we walked up this road. And uh, when we got to the road, I sat at a tree above the road. He sat at a tree below the road, so I could watch up the hill. I could watch down the hill. I could hear deer behind me. So he was watching deer below me. 
So while he was doing that, there was this deep, there was this doe that came up. I saw way up over the hill. It came up over the hill, and it quickly came down the hill, and kind of around this big, huge brush thicket, and came down probably I don't know, 15 yards away from me. And I guess it was eating acorns and stuff, and it, it saw me sitting there. She was trying to figure out what I was. She's kind of bucking her head, stomping her ground a little bit. Kept getting closer and closer, and I wasn't moving, I was just sitting there. And she got so close, she was right at the end of where my boot was. She was that close, but I just never moved. I guess she figured out I wasn't going to do anything, so she just kind of went about her business. She just kind of meandered around me, went down in the road behind me, so she's in between me and my brother. But while she was down there, I heard this commotion up the hill where she had come from. And there's another deer coming right behind her. And I couldn't tell if it was a buck or not until it started grunting. And I knew it was a buck. It came, when it came up over the hill, it looked down the hill and it immediately saw me sitting there. And it just kind of stopped. So I sat there and I didn't move. It just kind of stared at me for a long time. And when it went, when it went behind the brush thicket that the doe went into, that's when I got the gun up. And I was just waiting for it to come out. I was gonna take a shot at it, but it never came out of the brush thicket. It just kind of sat up there, and it grunted, and it snorted, and it made all kinds of racket and was stomping. And it wasn't too long after that, it just took right back up off the hill. So I never got a shot at it. it was unfortunate. I probably wouldn't hit anything anyway didn't have my glasses and it was getting dark and I couldn't even tell if it was a buck or not I just knew it was because it was grunting it was grunting chasing after the doe I have tons of stories like that I think everybody does well, everybody that hunts anyway